So in this video, we're going to talk about and and or. So in a probability question, if they mention and or or, you should pay really special attention because it normally means something for the probability. So and means multiply and or means add. Okay, so bear that in mind and uh, we'll explain it with an example because that's the easiest, easiest way to um, look at it, I guess. So I'll just start with an example here. Uh, and the example we're going to use is pack of cards. So pack or deck of cards. And ooh, I'm going to just write out the questions here. All right, so here are our questions. Um, and in each case, we're just going to be drawing uh, one card from a pack of cards. And they're asking us different probabilities. So I'll read through them uh, quick, firstly. Firstly, quick, uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> what is the probability of drawing a three or a four? What is the probability of drawing a three and a hearts? What is the probability of drawing a picture card and a black? What is the probability of drawing a card that is lower than five or a seven of hearts? Okay, so you have to pay really special attention to the or, and, and, and or. Okay, so this is kind of the point of, the, of this video. Um, so I will scroll down just so we can still see them. So the first one probability of so the, the probability of a three or the probability of a four okay so if you want to get the probability of getting a three or a four you say it's the probability of getting a three or probability of getting a four and you add them because remember or means add and and means multiply as I have up here yeah so we'll continue with that so the probability of getting a three um, when you draw uh, one card from a deck of cards, remember that from the last time, is going to be 4 over 52. Uh, and the probability of getting a 4 is also 4 over 52. Because there are four threes. There's a three of hearts, diamonds, spades, and um, clubs. And the same with four. So the entire answer is 8 over 52. Uh, or if you simplify that down, just 2 over 13. Okay, So it's as simple as that. If you see or, you're going to add them. And if you see and, you're going to multiply. So the next one, I will go pink. And we're going to say, question two, what is the probability of drawing a three and a hearts? Okay, so P of three and, which remember means multiply, P of hearts. Okay, so again, probability of a three hasn't changed. It's still four over 52. And we're going to multiply this by the probability of getting a hearts, which is 1 over 4. Um, and then the entire probability will just be 1 over 52. Okay. Um, so hopefully that makes sense. Every time you see or, it's going to be plus, And every time you see and, it's going to be multiply. Question 3. What is the probability of drawing a picture card and a black? So I'll go P of picture. Uh, and which means multiply p of a black card okay so p of a picture card there's 12 picture cards because there's uh, a jack a queen and a king and there's four jacks four queens and four kings so it's 12 over 52 multiplied by p of black is going to be half because half of the cards are black so your answer is going to be 6 over 52 or if you want to simplify that um, is going to be 3 over 26. 3 over 26. I'll scroll down for the last one. Um, what color? Green. Why not? P of 4. What is the probability of drawing a card that is lower than 5 or a 7 of hearts? Okay, so this one will take just a little bit longer. So I'll say P of less than 5, so that's the less than symbol. Um, or, which is add, P of 7H, I'll say, 7 of hearts. Okay, um, so I'll just go like this. P of lower than 5, that means we have to get either a 2, a 3, and a 4. So in this case, I'm taking ace as a high card. Um, yeah, that depends how... Um, how the question asks it all the time like in the exam the, que the question will always specify if ace is a high card or a low card so that means if ace is a low card you pretend that ace is one and if ace is a high card you pretend that ace is above king so it's the highest card okay um so p of less than five means 
it's a you're either getting a two a three or a four um and all together there are hearts clubs diamonds and spades of each one of these so that means there are going to be 12 over 52 and um, that's the probably of getting a card that's less than a four because there's either there's four twos four threes or four fours you can get and then i'll just say here that the p of seven of hearts uh, since there's only one seven of hearts then it's one over 52. We'll scroll down here so we're just going to add 12 over 52 with one over 52 so this is going to be 12 over 52 plus 1 over 52 13 over 52 um, and if you want to simplify that down you get 1 over 4 okay so these basic probability um, rules so using and and or they're really useful for um, if you're playing poker I guess uh, that's kind of what poker players use when they're trying to get the probability of certain cards uh, and we can use them for really complicated probability questions. So in the next the next video, we're going to look at a more difficult and an or problem. Uh, instead of just playing cards, it's going to be uh, about chicken filler rolls. So yeah, we'll see you in the next one. If you found this useful, then share it with your friends uh, and we'll see you next time.